Hi, welcome to another one of our COVID service updates. It's time to start changing things at the practice, so we thought we'd join you with another one of our videos and just let you know what we're planning. First and foremost, we're still open. We have been right the way through, and we're on top of our workload again, having recruited some new team members through last year. We're now able to operate, welcome new clients and new patients, and work without a waiting list. Um, the background then, COVID is very much under control in our area, thanks to the sacrifices that we've all made in the last year. And because of that, it's time to welcome people and pets back into our surgery building again. We're going to make that change from next Tuesday, the 27th of April. So from next Tuesday, 27th of April, we would like to welcome clients back into the building again. Lots of you won't have had a chance to see our nice new building that we busied ourselves making in 2020. We have a new reception area, which is larger and lighter in area area with new seating and larger space for the shop with some new ranges. We have a separate cat waiting area and a quiet breakout waiting area for people that would like to wait out with the main thoroughfare. The part you don't normally see is the surgery suite, so we've doubled up our operating theatre space. We've built a new surgery preparation suite, which is larger. We've invested in some new surgical equipment, such as an electrosurgery unit, and we've built a new dental, a dental surgery suite, which is dental radiography. In the ward areas, we've made the wards larger with more comfortable kennels and more space for our patients when they're staying with us. Over to Glenn for the details of what we're going to change next Tuesday then. Yeah, so um, us vets will be as delighted as you clients at uh, getting you back into the practice. Um, we, we can do a really good job consulting when we've got our owners there with us at the same time as we're examining their pets. So, so really excited about it. Um, we are going to have to still be very careful that we don't let COVID come into the team. It's quite a, it, there's quite a lot of us working out of the practice and uh, if, if COVID gets in amongst us, um, it, it might uh, uh, slow us down from getting people in quite as well. Uh, so there's a few things that we're doing uh, to, to help with that. First thing is, as we're going to go back to what we were doing at the end of last year. We're going to ask for one person to come in with each pet. Uh, if you have young children uh, that need to come with you, we can manage that. Uh, but if you can come by yourself with your pet, please do. Um, we're going to ask for uh, everyone who comes in to either wear a mask or a face shield. If you're not able to, that's okay. We'll still be able to consult with you. We have uh, procedures in place for that. Um, just phone when you get here and we can help. Um, if uh, you don't wish to come into the practice for whatever reason, if you're a bit worried about coming into a, a potentially busier area, again, just let us know at the time of making the appointment. We'll be able to consult with you uh, one way or another. We've got procedures in place. Um, we're going to minimise the amount of people in reception. We will have up to seven people in reception, so it's not going to be really busy in there. We want to keep you all safe as much as we want to keep ourselves safe. Um, and uh, if you still require it, if you want medications posted out to you or you want consultations over the telephone, again, just ask, here to help. Um, and whenever at all possible, we, we would really like everyone to pay by card. Um, again, it helps us so we don't have to handle uh, cash at the end of each day, again, reducing risk. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to having people back in. To your patients' understanding, we've managed to stay open right the way through the crisis. We've been here 24 seven for all our clients and pets. Um, and we really are delighted to be able to welcome you back into the surgery building next Tuesday once again. Uh, we're really looking forward to the summer with optimism, the sun's shining, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you.